guys. Uh, I hurt my foot and my knee again at school, and my thumb is still messed up. So, as promised, on one of my comments, I'm going to be doing a bowling tour bag. So let's start with the second most essential thing, and this is a K sports bag. The second most essential thing to your balls are your shoes. And I actually have Dr. Scholl's in here. I usually have an S9 on them. That's the slidiest one I have. I have a T2 Plus traction sole. And these are Dexter SST8 SEs. Not SST8 SEs. Just SST SEs. Keep getting that confused. That's all that I have in that compartment. Plus some more slide soles. So let's go up here into my accessories. I have just a bronze ball. Bunch of tape wrappers. Get that out of here. Ooh, I hate the smell of that. So I have a Brunswick rosin ball, a shoe brush, just for getting your shoes all clean. That's a little dusty. Everything in here is dusty because of the rosin. I have some ebonite tape. It goes in your bag. My dad just walked in. So, not your bag, your ball. This does go in your bag, but... I have some stuff that... Storm Thunder Tape pre-cut. I just put it in a little baggie. This goes on your thumb. And I have a Master Tape Insert Tool. Now let's go into this back compartment that you can't see. And here I have some shoe covers. They're just standard master shoe covers. Got two. And I have a little notebook that I just started keeping to keep track of my scores and oil patterns and stuff. Don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I used to keep track of oil patterns and stuff. I haven't really, I bowled on a bear pattern, but I haven't really bowled in that many sports shots. And I have this, I'll attach it to a ball return and kind of do some exercises to like just get me myself warmed up it's a little too long to do this yeah I do stuff like that I'll usually like attach it to a ball rack or something and that's all that's in there the zipper isn't being cooperative And now in this compartment, I have a first aid kit, because you know, you'll skin your thumb. Johnson & Johnson is just a little mini one, it fits perfectly, can't fit anything else in there. And now up in here, I have a, a wrist support for when I'm practicing. A wrist liner. This is from Storm. And this is a microfiber towel that you'd use to clean off your ball. But I have a shame to do that. I just use it as a hand towel. I also have some Ultimate Bowling Products Black Magic Coverstock Polish. And in this compartment. I have my little Storm Chamois. It's really nice and really popular, so. I have this for polishing my ball. It's just a Kirkland brand microfiber towel. And I have Storm React It Clean. And now to the part you've all been waiting for. I'm back, my parents are just being annoying by talking and stuff. Now onto my balls. This is my main ball. It is a Storm Timeless. Pretty nice. I don't know the exact specs of it, but it's pretty nice, it has a pretty tacky feel to it. I have blue inserts on it. It's really nice. And it still hurts like heck to put
put my thumb in any bowling ball. Just because I skinned it. See, that's the timeless. This is my storm pitch black. I love the black inserts on it. I forget what cover, not the cover stock. It's just urethane, all urethane. And it's got some kind of core in it. I forget what kind. I'll look it up. I'm leaving links in the description to all these bowling balls. Except the bullseye, because I know everything about that one. And it's a spare ball. The bullseye, this is my Roto Grip bullseye. It's really nice. It's a urethane pearl ball, and it's just a spare ball. It goes completely straight. If I roll it on the ground, you can see it just goes straight. My other balls seem to be hooking a little if I threw them at the right angle. My cat is looking at me like I'm crazy. But yeah, that's it. Sorry this video isn't edited or anything. I'm just kind of like hurting right now my foot and stuff but yeah have a good day